Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Joining me in the studio is Peter Sunnison of the Walking Mountains Science Center. He is their community outreach coordinator and we're drinking first thing in the morning. Best program prep I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're really doing something really cool for our neighbors here in the valley. Exactly, for our local wildlife. You know, it's uh, part upcycling or recycling project, um, part bird feeder building workshop tonight. Um, so, you know, we're going to be giving back to our local wildlife, helping out the local avian species kind of get through um, the tough winter. So this is a family event. You, brought, you basically, you can come as a, a singleton, but you register as a family. Absolutely. You know, so we're billing it as a family bird, fee, bird feeder building workshop. Man, my tongue is getting caught saying <laughs> that. Uh, but it's, it's a family program. We've got lots of individuals signed up, lots of couples signed up. So really, if you're interested in bird watching, feeding the birds, um, this is a perfect opportunity to come out, learn a little bit. What we're going to be doing is really talking about different types of seeds and targeting different specific types of birds. So it's really setting up that restaurant in your backyard for a specific type of bird that you might be interested in watching. Okay, so this time of year, what birds are here? I mean, I definitely see those ravens still around, but who else is still around? Ravens, crows, I mean, the big black ones we're seeing all yes. over the place. We'll see a lot of juncos this time of year. Okay. Kind of a gray slate back, kind yeah. of orange, rosy breast that fades into white. Um, the mountain chickadees are still around, little black caps, white mohawk. Yes. Um, we hear those flitting around the forest almost year round. Um, and then it's Stellar's Jay, a variety of woodpeckers. There are a lot of birds still around. You know, the hummingbirds have, are in South America enjoying the summer. Um, but there are local birds that we won't necessarily see unless you put out the right food in your backyard. So what kind of food are you putting out? I mean, is this different than what they would be eating in the summertime? So yeah, absolutely. So in the summertime, they're foraging on the plants. You know, they're eating seeds from the, uh, from the flowers. Late summer, all the uh, grasses are gonna go to bloom. They're gonna be eating those seeds. What we're gonna do tonight, is make some suet feeders, which is kind of that fat um, mix with other seeds that birds really, really like, more designed towards woodpeckers and larger birds. And then we're gonna fill, be filling these um, wine bottle feeders with a variety of seeds that might be um, targeting other species, smaller birds. Do they eat more in the winter time or do they eat less? It's a great question. So they're definitely gonna be putting on the weight in the summer, or in, in the winter time, excuse me. Um, winter time survival for all animals is about energy conservation. It takes a lot of energy to move when it's so cold outside. So they're really trying to pack on the weight. Um, a bird will eat seven times its body weight a day. So they're gonna be eating, eating, eating um, pretty much year round, especially in the winter. I heard that you should also put out water for them if the only water around is basically frozen snow and ice. That's absolutely, that's a great point. Um, bird feeders, you know, a lot of people have their bird feeder out and then they'll put a little pond next to it, maybe with a little bubbler to keep it open year round. And that's very, very important. Birds just like us need to drink water. Streams, lakes, ponds are frozen over. They absolutely need to go somewhere to drink. So that's a great point. It's hard to do in this part of the world, uh, this part of the country where yes. it's so cold. Um, but there are, you know, different strategies of, and we'll talk about that tonight a little bit. And so if you want to go tonight, are there still spaces and how do you sign up? There are spaces um, available. Register at our website, walkingmountains.org. The program is from six o'clock till eight o'clock tonight and it's $15 per, per person. Um, and I, ch children are a discounted rate. So, you know, come visit us. You'll leave with bird feeders. We're going to wrap them in copper wire, make them pretty. Um, it should be a really neat evening. Great. Thank you so much for coming on, Peter. Yep, my pleasure. Stay tuned. We've got more Good Morning Vale coming your way.